Hello and welcome, welcome back to Bookmark Chronicles. Today I'm back with more book recommendations, but for my enemies. So these are all books that I hate, and if you like them, I probably don't trust you. Actually, I will take that back because there is one book on here that I know some people who claim to enjoy it, and I genuinely do not understand why. I have so many questions, but we'll get to that later. I have a list of five books, all of which I have nothing good to say about them, and I'm going to recommend them to you as if you're someone that I dislike and I want to waste your time. I do have reviews of three of the books on here, so I will make sure those are linked in the cards and in the description for you. The first three are the ones that I have reviews of, and this first one I'm sure is not going to be a surprise to anyone. I have talked about it so many times. I don't like it. None of my friends like it. I don't think I know anyone who likes it, and that's for the best. It is the other black girl. Yeah, we thought keyword is thought that this was going to be a book about black women in corporate industries and the things that we face but make it a thriller right sounds fun it could get good maybe it might get a little stabby stabby okay i don't know who this was for but it damn sure was not for us in this book we're following a girl who works in publishing which is a very white dominated industry another black girl starts working in her office and then she starts getting threatening letters i still have so many questions about this book how the hell it got turned into a tv series i don't know we tried to watch it i believe we watched the first three episodes luckily it got canceled although i cannot imagine why but this is not good perhaps i would recommend this to someone who doesn't like black women because i don't know what else to do with it the next book that i'm going to talk about is one that gives me similar feelings as the other black girl it's kind of a who was this for kind of situation and that is such a fun age by kylie reed i still don't know what the point of this book is and not that it has to have a point you know however there are a lot of things in here that just did not make sense so the synopsis that's given for this book is about the fact that our main character is babysitting this little white girl and gets accused of kidnapping her right that's the synopsis however that essentially happens in like the first two chapters and then we're sort of dealing with not even the aftermath because nothing gets dealt with in this book and that's part of the thing that pissed me off about it we have this one incident and then we're following these different characters who are all involved in various ways but if I were actually going to describe what this book is about, it's white people doing and saying racist shit and never getting called out for it. That's basically the only thing. Because after the incident happens, everybody moves on with their lives. There are other elements to it that kind of drag it out, but none of it was actually important. And there was an opportunity for the main character to really take a stand and make a statement and she just didn't. Aside from me not liking the story as a whole, I hated the main character. I thought she was absolutely fucking terrible. She complains about any and everything but does not do anything about her situation at all. But it's so woe was me the entire time to the point where she's being a very shitty friend. None of it was good. None of it was enjoyable. Can't stand it. Would not recommend. This next book is the one that people tend to like. I thought it was going to be a five star prediction and I rated it one and a half stars. So it's The Echo Wife. Now, I was excited about this book because it is a thriller and it has some sci-fi elements, right? The main character is a badass. She is at her prime, making waves in the scientific research community. But the entire focus of the story isn't her career, isn't her accomplishments, it's her having a pity party for herself over a man because there's a clone of her that her husband married and the clone killed the husband. That's all in the synopsis, so there's no spoilers there. But the reason behind everything made no sense. I've said it a million times, I will say it again, and I understand that this is not how everyone works, but me personally, I am not wasting time crying over and being sad over a man who made it clear that he does not care about me. I'm just not gonna do it. Logically, it doesn't make sense to me. I can't do it, right? Everybody's not gonna feel that way fine however the things that we find out about her husband nobody ever calls him out for it it's always well she should have and why didn't she and blah 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 no she is not the problem her husband is i wish that i could say what it is that makes him a problem i do have a review of this so i will have that link for you if you have read the book let's talk about it because there is absolutely no way that anybody should be saying anything about evelyn after finishing that book 
Also, there are a lot of like misogynistic undertones to it that just really pissed me off and I was like, so we're just not gonna talk about that. Everybody's just gonna say that Evelyn's a bitch because she's really not. The fact that Evelyn herself can't get over that too is a part of the problem, but don't read it. This next one pissed me off so fucking bad. Painted Devils. This is, I guess, the middle book in a trilogy. Uh, the first book is Little Thieves, which I really enjoyed. I rated it four and a half stars. I was so excited about Painted Devils that I immediately started reading it right after I finished book one. In that first book, we're following Vanya, who is the goddaughter of death and fortune, I believe. And essentially she's supposed to choose which one she wants to serve, but she doesn't really want to. So she's trying to figure out how to sort of break away from them and just do her own thing, right? Vanya had so much character growth in this series. And then the author was like, all that work we just did, we're gonna throw it away, right out the window. Everything that we just learned about ourselves, about other people, we're gonna ignore it. We're gonna do the absolute opposite of what you would expect. I was having such a good time with this book until literally the last chapter. I have never been so fucking disappointed in my entire life. So much so that I refuse to read the next book in the series. I probably won't read anything by Margaret Owen ever again to be totally honest with you because she got me fucked up. That woman wasted my time so bad. It, it's unforgivable. I cannot do it. If you want to recommend a book to someone where they are literally enjoying it and just having all the feels just to be the most let down that they could ever be in their entire life recommend this book to them this last book might piss a few people off and that's okay we all know that we went in a fourth wing for vibes in talking dragons however Iron Flame makes no fucking sense. In the first book, we're following Violet as she's on her way to the Dragon Rider Academy, which is like super cutthroat. Everybody's dying. Dragons might kill you. Your classmates might kill you. Why? I don't know, but it's a possibility. Fourth Wing, whatever. It was fine. Rebecca Yaros must have forgot what the point of the series was. Because in Iron Flame, this woman contradicts herself so much that nothing makes sense. I want you to go into this book thinking that you're in for a good time. Just to wonder what the fuck is going on for the entirety of it. And mind you, it's longer than Fourth Wing. Fourth Wing is already long for no reason. Iron Flame somehow is even longer and yet nothing makes sense. And let's not forget this is a fantasy romance, right? what happened to the romance and Rebecca's not a fantasy writer so you're trying to be and you're failing badly she literally contradicts herself in like a quote at the beginning of a chapter quote itself is a contradiction to damn near every plot point in the first book it literally makes no sense at all I don't know what Rebecca is doing I don't know how exactly there's supposed to be three more books but I will not be joining y'all on that journey I think I gave Iron Flame two stars and to be totally honest that's a little generous if you enjoyed this series good for you have fun y'all can tell me about it because I absolutely will not be reading it I would recommend it to somebody that I don't like though so those are all of my book recommendations for my enemies uh I hope you read them and have the worst time let me know if you've read any of these or if they're on your TBR. Hopefully they're not, but if they are, let me know. Otherwise, that's all I have for you today and I'll see you in the next video.